بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دا الیکشن کمیشن آف پاکستان ڈس کوالیفائڈ پاکستان تحریک انصاف چیئرمین اینڈ فارمر پریمیئر عمران خان آن فرائیڈے ایز اٹ اناؤنس اٹس ورڈکٹ ان دا توش خانہ ریفرنس اے فور ممبر بینچ ڈکلیئرڈ عمران خان نیشنل اسمبلی سیٹ ویکنٹ ایز اٹ انومسلی ڈیسائیڈڈ دیٹ ہی ہیڈ پرووائڈڈ ان کرکٹ انفارمیشن ان دا کیس اینڈ ڈس کوالیفائڈ ہم فار دا ٹائم بینگ The verdict defeated Imran as per Article 63A and ordered the initiation of criminal proceedings against him for submitting a false statement. However, the ECP issued away from declaring the deposed premier disqualified for life. Meanwhile, the PTA leadership has announced that it will challenge the decision in court. Earlier today, party leaders had directed workers to protest should the Tosh Khanna case decision come against Imran Khan. Senior party leader and in charge of the party's Khyber Pakhtun Khwa wing, Parvez Khattak had shared an audio message with workers stating that if the decision is in favor of Imran Khan, then fine. Otherwise, if it is against him, then there will be a strong protest in the district level. Reflecting on the constitutional role of the ECP during a press conference today, senior PTA leader Shah Mahmood Qureshi said that a minus one formula will not be acceptable. The ECP is a constitutional institution, said Qureshi, noting that free, fair and credible elections was the responsibility of the watchdog. In no way will a minus one formula will be considered acceptable, he added. During the press conference, Qureshi also noted the success of PTI in by-elections and cited it as evidence that attempts of disqualifying Imran would be against the will of the people. In view of the fear of the arrival of PTA workers or a possible disturbance, tight security has been deployed in the entire area, especially surrounding the ECP building and the Red Zone. Islamabad and Rawalpindi police have been put on high alert after the decision with heavy deployment placed at the Red Zone and Faisalabad interchange. Furthermore, in addition to the police, FC and regions personnel have also been deployed for security near government buildings. Tear gas shells and other necessary equipment were also delivered to the personnel earlier. Before the announcement of the verdict, security had been deployed by the Islamabad administration whereby 1,500 personnel including on SSP, 5 SPs and 6 DSPs have been appointed as the premises. According to police officials, PTA workers will not be allowed to enter the ECP building and entry will be restricted to relevant persons only while the entry into a red zone also have been restricted. Besides this, DC Islamabad also visited the ECP and reviewed the security arrangements. The electoral watchdog had sought full-proof security ahead of the verdict. The election supervisor had also issued notices to all the parties to be present at its secretariat in Islamabad, either personally or through their lawyers. Earlier today, the Chief Election Commissioner and provisional ECP members of all four provinces reached the commission as an important meeting was called in. The Islamabad administration, in the presence of Deputy Commissioner Islamabad, Isfar Nawaz Mehman, briefed the meeting about the security measures in place. However, as of now, all roads are open and no blockages were observed. The ECP had reserved the verdict in the case on September 19. Tosh Khanna, a department under the administrative control of the Cabinet Division, stores precious gifts given to the head of states, MPs, bureaucrats and officials by heads of other governments, states and foreign dignitaries. According to Tosh Khanna rules, gifts and other such materials received by persons to whom these rules apply shall be reported to the Cabinet Division. The reference have been moved by the Pakistan Democratic Movement against the PTA chief on August 4 for not sharing the details of Tosh Khanna gifts and proceeds from their alleged sale. Despite the Pakistan Information Commission ordering it to do so, the PTA while in government had been reluctant to disclose the details of the gifts presented to Imran since he took over his office in 2018. It claimed that it would jeopardize international relations. The reference saw the disqualification of Imran from public office under Articles 62 and 63 of the Constitution.